So Kamala Harris is now celebrating Kwanzaa all of a sudden. Now, if you know anything about Kwanzaa, it is a completely, entirely a made up holiday. It's not real. It's fake. It, it was just something that people just decided to do. And then you had a bunch of black people basically claiming, oh, it's, it's like our version of Christmas for some reason. So <laughs> it's just a complete lie. So Kwanzaa was actually invented in 1966 by a convicted felon. Okay, now Kamala Harris, she was born in 1964, but yet Kamala Harris is the one that puts out a statement saying, you know, my sister and I, we grew up celebrating Kwanzaa. Every year our family would, and our extended family, we would gather around across multiple generations and we'd share stories. The kids would sit on the carpet and the elders would sit in their chairs and we would light the candles and of course after have a beautiful meal and of course there was always the discussion of the seven principles. And you know, essentially it's about to be, or it's about be and do. Be the person you want to be and do the things you want to do and do the things that need to be done. She continued, it's about not letting anyone write our future for us, but instead going out and writing it for ourselves. Now, of course this entire statement is just completely made up. I mean, this has nothing to do with anything at all. I mean, because Kwanzaa literally was created like around 50 years ago, She's just attaching a meaning to it because she feels like she can attach whatever meaning she wants to it. Now, if you also recall, just about, I think, a week ago, she put out a video with her husband, which is Jewish, basically talking about how they celebrate Hanukkah. Hey, everybody. We're here to talk about one of our favorite holidays in our big modern family. Hanukkah. And why do you love Hanukkah? I love Hanukkah because it really is about the light and bringing light where there has been darkness and there is so much work to be done in the world to bring light and it is a celebration of always tikkun alam which is about fighting for justice and and fighting for the dignity of all people and it's about rededication and it's about joy. And it's about joy. And it's about spreading joy around the world and sharing it with your family and your friends and your neighbors and your community. And there she goes again with these empty words. They mean nothing. It's just light, 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 and more light because light and light. Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? It's clear that she doesn't know what she's talking about. You can't simultaneously be celebrating Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and all of the rest of these things like this all at the same time attaching all of these random meanings to it just because you feel like it. That's what we call pandering. This is a perfect example of that because she doesn't really celebrate Hanukkah or she doesn't really celebrate Kwanzaa. It's just that she's trying to appeal to all of these people that do this apparently and try to pretend as if she's somehow one of them. And as I mentioned earlier with the dates, she was born in 1964. Kwanzaa was actually started in 1966. Now, the chances that she grew up celebrating this are near impossible. Because, the, I mean, if a, if a holiday started and she was born two years later, I mean, it would have taken 10, 20 years before that uh, tradition even became something that people even adapted. I mean... I can start my own holiday today. Let's just say I start my own holiday and I start spreading the news and I tell everybody, hey, look, I got this holiday going on to this day. How long do you think it's going to take before people can say, yeah, I grew up celebrating this thing that was created two years before I was born? Pretty much no one. So it's just a complete lie. This isn't the first lie she's told. She had the whole story with her listening to Tupac, even though the album like wasn't even out yet. And there's a lot of these other issues, but she's just completely lying about everything that she does just to try and fit in this narrative that she believes in. This is how she would, this is the meaning she would attach to almost anything just to push her narrative of what she believes. Just do yourself. Don't let anybody tell you what you can do. What like, it sounds like a motivational speech not anything to do with a holiday at all. So it's just an obvious lie. And it didn't really, like I said, there were reports in here that basically came out after the fact saying that it didn't really take hold until the seventies and early eighties, but somehow her family is heavily devoted to celebrating this thing. 
once again, Kamala Harris is just a, she's kind of just an empty suit. She's just a person that just kind of will pander to whatever. She doesn't have to know anything about it, as you saw from the the uh, Hanukkah video. She just talks and says stuff and kind of hopes that in some way, somebody is crazy enough to actually think that she knows what she's talking about when in reality she doesn't. You just watched a clip from the William Hall Show. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.